Hey guys, all right, so this video is gonna uh, talk about mostly making a breakable block, whether it be a block of dirt, block of rocks, block a wooden block, anything like that. So I go ahead, I went ahead and made a little map I'm gonna be using for the next few um, tutorial bits, um, dealing with TNT torches, all that stuff. But for now, we're gonna focus on breakable blocks. So I've already ported this over into Hammer. Now, you can tell that when you directly port it, some things are gonna happen, but we're gonna deal with breakable blocks. So a block will be ported over and it won't be um, uh, breakable, obviously, that was kind of redundant, but to make it breakable, go ahead and select your block, press Control T, and we're gonna look, we're gonna create this a um, funk breakable, so type it funk breakable, that should pop up. Now, this is where we click apply, and we have to go ahead and start setting the um, details regarding this block. So we don't really have to put a name to this, but if you want for organizational stake, sake, we could just put uh, cobblestone, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Damage filter, not really important. Shadows, yes, disable that. Um, we're not going to have it explode, obviously, but performance mode, we want this to do you can do reduce skips, you can do normal. It depends on how many you're gonna have. I haven't really run into an issue with that. We're just gonna use reduce skips for now. Um, prop data, this is going to be, let's say stone small. This is kind of, you can read this, I don't really know. I just, what I've done and it's worked. Strength, we're gonna put it, uh, we'll put 30, I guess. Material type, well, it's not made of glass, this is rocks now there are ways you can use custom gibbs this is determining the gib model it's going to be going to use like when you break it it'll break into little rocks that'll fall and disappear um you don't have to have one if you don't if you just want to put none to where it just instantly disappears i think it looks cosmetically better with this um gives direction random looks fine um, i haven't used anything else that might be interesting uh, this works fine i guess for me um doesn't really matter it's the direction where it to fly we don't want it to be pushed, so make sure this is on no. And this is if you were going to use a custom Git model. I've yet to edit that too much, um, so I'm just not going to touch that. Uh, let's see. Everything looks to be good. Let's go ahead and press apply. Now, that's what we would do for a stone block. If we were going to use a dirt block, the thing is that you could co you can just select this one, press Control t it'll open up this window. We can just copy that, and then we can click on this one and just paste it. You can do this for tons of other ones. You can also just simply copy and paste and all these will be breakable as well. We're not gonna do that, however. But for this one, I mean, you can change this. This doesn't really do much. I mean, for dirt, they don't really have a very good um, material type. I mean, all they have are rocks and all these things, but there's none really that specify to dirt. So I wouldn't advise making a dirt a breakable block. i will just look weird because when it breaks off, it'll look and it'll look like rocks. So it's kind of dumb. But we'll I'll just leave it there so you can see what I mean. We copy that. We are going to click on this one. Control T, and we're going to paste because I copied it before. Now, oh, I forgot to change the name. We're going to make this dirt, and this is going to be wood. Now, with this one, they do have wood material type. This is going to be wood, of course. Random, random, yes, 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 everything else is the same. Really, I'm going to change that and that. That's all I really need to change. And we are good. Apply. Now, for the TNT block. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm not going to do TNT in this episode. We're going to do that. Add a different one. That'll be the next episode we do because that's a little bit difficult. Um, as far as these three blocks, though, they are completed. So we're going to go ahead and um, make sure we have a spawn. All right, so we'll spawn right there. And let's go ahead and set our map to Minecraft. And you don't have to put this there. I'll just go ahead and erase that. That was an accident. Okay, but we do want that there. Apply, good to go, and we are good to render. There we go. 
All right, so we have loaded our map. Um, these three blocks, we set this to concrete and it breaks off. Now, since it is random, it is gonna break off like that. If you want a directional, I'll go ahead and add a little bit. I'll put a little video here, shows what direction looks like. This is what it looks like when it's relative to your attack instead of random. And this is the dirt. Now, since we don't have dirt breaking off, there's no dirt. That's where I want to get a custom particle because it doesn't it doesn't look right. And then you have your your wood, which is which is fine. So that's that. And this we'll deal with that another time. That's that should not be that way. I'll fix that anyway. That'll be a different video, by the way. So there you have it. That's how to make breakable blocks in Minecraft. Thank you. Bye. Or not in Minecraft, in Gary's Mod with a Minecraft style. Okay, bye.